You know what they say, practice makes perfect. You can't learn to code just by knowing what it is. You need to practice, practice, practice to get the bigger picture of how programming really works. The more you practice, the more mistakes you make. So you dissect and tear through your code to understand what's going on and then modify it accordingly to correct your mistakes. That is how you learn to program quickly and effectively. For beginners, solving challenges help to build programming logic and programming is all about how you apply logic to solve a problem. So today we are going to do some challenges. I'll go through easy, medium and hard challenges and explain how to solve them. Fortunately for us, program is just added challenges to its Python app. The app is free for learning the basic scores. However, challenges are part of our pro model. Luckily for you, we are giving away five Program is Pro subscriptions every day. So stay till the end of the video to find out how. Now let's get back to our challenges. So I'll open my Program is uh, Pro. I already have a subscription and let me choose the first easy challenge. So here I will say odd even check. So check if an integer is even given an integer input in variable my variable. Check if it is an even integer. Uh, if it is an even integer, print the boolean value true, otherwise print false. Looks pretty easy. So let me go to the compiler. All right. So to check if it is divisible by two, um, let's see. So I can just do if my underscore variable, oops, variable modulus. Where's the modulus percentage sign here? Modulus. Two equals equals zero, then it is divisible by two. So I print true. Otherwise, I print false. So pretty easy. Let me run this, and looks like my test cases have passed. So I don't want to submit this for now because I'm just testing it out. Let me go back, and now let me do a medium challenge. Hmm. So let's see. Let me try. Catching an exception. This sounds interesting. So try to divide a number by zero and catch the exception thrown. Get an integer input and store it in n using try except block. Print the quotient when n is divided by zero. Catch the exception in the except block and print division not possible. All right. So division not possible. Here let me print uh, first n by zero. So n divided by zero and I want to go into the exception. So oops, I forgot what the challenge was. Let's see. Okay, I can scroll. So I can go back and here I said division not possible. Okay, so n divided by zero and it says division not possible. Let me do this and run and let's see what happens. Looks like all my test cases have passed because the expected output is the same as my output. All right, now let's go to the harder one. So I'll escape and I'll go to the harder challenges. So let me try. Hmm, let me try uh, nested list. So append one list to another, create two list, list one, list two, list three, and assign one, two, three, four, and five, six, append list two at the end of list one using append and print list one. All right. So I'll go to the compiler and this is a pretty easy for me comparatively. So uh, list one dot append and I can say list two and let me see if this works. So when I press run, then all my test cases have passed and I have also done a hard problem. Now let's get to the part where I tell you how you can get a one year subscription for Program is Pro for free. To win, participate in our Program is Python challenge. It's a five days challenge. Every day we will post one challenge on all our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. The next day we will announce five winners alongside the new challenge for the day. So basically a 24 hour deadline for each challenge to be eligible. You'll have to do three things like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and follow us on our social media channels. The links are in the description. Finally, you need to post the solution on the challenge post itself on any of our platforms. 
with the hashtag program is challenge don't forget the hashtag there's no limit to how many submissions you can make to improve your chances you can post the solution on multiple social media accounts that's it that's all you guys need to know and the challenge starts right now here's the first problem description for you you can find this challenge on our youtube community and on our social media you can see the instructions in the description below that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one